box plate off the back of the tractor. And now I'm going to slowly make my way up to uh, where the blueberry harvesting wagon is. And I'm going to use the tractor to tow it into the position where I'm going to be working on it to turn it into a coop. I'm slowly getting some of these, uh, more of these woods opened up. You can see through pretty good now to the other pasture that already opened. So, little by little, get on top of it. super responsive vehicle back there and it's the same width about as the tractor but the way this hitch arm works on the front of this thing is it's not as as easy to predict as something that is like connected to the PTO you know like a, like a rotary cutter or something so you just got to really mind your turns where the corners are and the other thing is at the peak it's a little bit taller than the tractor too probably probably eight inches now, and here I'm good because I actually set about with the vision of one day this being the way like feed delivery trucks would come to deliver feed for the farm so this is this is cut to clear a you know a box truck mostly all right, yeah, that was good. It's one of those things you just gotta kind of watch because the tractor's got enough power to pull this thing wherever I want it to go. I mean, it'll drag it, it'll knock stuff over, it'll damage the tractor itself to do its job. It's very faithful in there. But let's not do that. My goal is to pull it up here into the shade where I usually work on other projects or I have in the past. But now both of those outbuildings are, this is where I'm gonna build a pole barn. So I want it near that. I just don't want it like in the same place as that. One of these platforms is loose. It's thinking about taking a tumble, but it's okay. Age, rust, you know, all the good stuff. It's holding it in place for now. I hit those branches. And I'm not saying that like in a cool way. I mean, I hit those branches. You know what? That's that's pretty level. I think I'm gonna stop there. Let's go look at it. I think I'm all right. I think that's gonna work. That's it. Just a little seat clamp. I'll pull forward and that'll slide right out. Oh, no, I should chalk the gear. Alright, that'll do it. There, over there. And we're clear. Just drop onto the ground like that. What I need to work on here though is uh, we had this other little home that was here on the property. Uh, an old manufactured home, really old and really in rough shape. And we've been using it for storage. It was, uh, you know, it was in rough repair and I've already done a little bit of a patch job to the ramp that was leading up into it. And that is, that has run its race as well. So I think I'm just gonna take that ramp off and just take a look at it and see what I'm dealing with underneath there. I may just remove it and put in some steps. I'll remove it and put in a new ramp, which would probably be better. Well, that's the ramp. It is, it is not good. So I got supervisor, supervisor, gook on the screen. Oh, great, another one. 
I brought none of these cats to the farm. They all came with it. <laughs> It looks like actually this stuff up in here was all pressure treated because it's in fine shape. All of this, which was contacting the ground, is all rotted. Um, so clearly not pressure treated. And they may have thought that if they painted it and just put it down like that, it'd be just fine. They were wrong. Uh, we've enjoyed having a ramp here. So I think what I'll do is I'll replace it with a ramp. I gotta go, I gotta go buy some pressure treated though. All right, well, there it is. Didn't exactly figure out the nose of it right, but whatever. And uh, joints up okay. I think that'll definitely work. I haven't walked up yet, actually. Oh yeah, yeah, rock solid. Feline seal of approval. All right, so the lumber, I used uh, two by eights and I bought them in 10 foot lengths and the amount of scrap that I had was not a lot. Uh, so that was the right measurements and the right uh, prep for that. I had the screws already. Uh, you saw I took them out of the, the lean-to uh, roof. Um, so it was about, I don't know, $53 for the, for the wood because I went with pressure treated and uh and then my time and that probably took me maybe 90 minutes shouldn't have taken that long but i had to go back and correct my angles because i don't know what i'm doing anyway all right Whew. i'm done man i'm cooked so uh with that being said I'll talk to you guys later